I'm Nicole Ayers. It's N-I-C-H-O-L-E. And Ayers is A-Y-E-R-S. Uh, I'm a major in the United States Air Force and a NASA astronaut. Uh, and I go by Vapor. My friends call me Vapor. Immensely is what I would say, probably. Um, you know, I, as a little kid, I... I had this dream of being an astronaut and, uh, you know, I grew up in the shuttle era and at an early age, I found out, you know, that people didn't just ride on the shuttle, they flew it. Uh, and so I, I loved flying on commercial air, airplanes and uh, I had an affinity for the sky and for space, uh, you know, from a very young age and growing up right there in Colorado Springs, you know, the Air Force Academy was right up the street. So I had a pretty good idea. I was a really serious little kid who set my goals on getting into the Air Force Academy and trying to be an Air Force pilot uh, early on in my life. Um, so I would say a, a pretty big influence uh, in terms of just living there uh, and seeing the Air Force Academy, seeing the astronauts that came from the Academy um, and a, just setting my sights on a on a dream as a little child and kept pushing. But yeah, so I think that flying is a team sport uh, just as much as going to space is a team sport. Uh, you know, I flew T-38s for a little while and then I flew the F-22. Uh, and while the F-22 is a single seat fighter aircraft, uh, we never went anywhere by ourselves. So we always flew with two or four or sometimes, you know, 20, 30, 100 other airplanes uh, to get the mission done. And so uh, working together, mission planning, executing the mission, and then debriefing all together as a one cohesive unit uh, is uh, just a plug and play for NASA. You know, we are here now and my team is my uh, group of classmates that just graduated today, uh, but then also the rest of the astronaut corps, you know, and the rest of NASA really getting uh getting into space and uh, working together as a team. Excited is an understatement. Uh, I haven't come up with a good word for it yet. Um, you know, we just put a lot of blood, sweat and tears into the last two years and learned a ton about T-38s and learning Russian and the space station. And we learned geology and we did a bunch of really awesome trips together, getting to know each other. Um, and so this is just the culmination event for all of that hard work and, uh, you know, a, a great way to, um, to appreciate and recognize all of the amazing humans that are in my class. I'm looking forward to just contributing to the NASA mission, you know, whether that's in a ground job and working on testing future space vehicles or spacesuits, um, whether that's getting assigned to a spaceflight mission and training for that mission. You know, I'm just excited to uh, start to give back to NASA. They just put a lot of time and effort into us to train us and get us ready and can't wait to start giving back and contributing to human spaceflight. Oh man, never give up and never stop being you. Um, you know, I was the little kid who really loved math and I kept up with the math um, all the way through graduate school. I loved flying and pursued that. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I like to tell people, you know, work hard, be a good teammate and everything that you want to do in life is going to fall into place uh, as long as you're willing to work hard for it. So never give up, never stop being you. Um, and, you know, I got to follow in the footsteps of many women who have gone before me. Uh, and so I hope that they get to follow in my footsteps as well. Oh, man, I, I thank you for all the support. You know, I grew up watching KKTV. Uh, so I just, the support from the Colorado community has been huge and from the Air Force Academy community. Um, and so I just uh, thank you. Thank you for all the support. I uh, can't wait to make you guys proud.